Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel for another Hot Toys unboxing and review. Today it's Captain Rex from Star Wars The Clone Wars. I was so excited when Hot Toys first made the announcement for this figure, and now we are finally getting him. Rex is my favorite clone trooper. So first, let's talk about the box. It's the usual Star Wars collectible design box, which means you have a black box with a picture of a figure and the Star Wars logo. The colored strip for the Clone Wars figures is blue and yellow. You have another picture of a figure there with two 501st Clone Troopers and another promotional picture on the side. Then when you open the box you have the usual additional promotional picture and then the figure itself. So first, let's take a look at the accessories. As usual with Clone Trooper figures, Hot Toys always delivers in terms of accessories. So first, we are going to take a look at the display base and then we'll see the different hands the different weapons and the other accessories. By now we all know this display base. It's the classic Star Wars display base. And this time they painted it in a very light grey, which I think also looks pretty cool. As usual you get the Star Wars nameplate and as for the stand, it's a dynamic stand because the figure comes with a jetpack so you can get better action poses. So now let's take a look at the different hands. This figure comes with seven hands. First you have these two. They can hold the blaster pistols or the blaster. Each hand has some revering on its armor parts. They also painted the kill marks, which looks really nice. With Hot Toys, it's always about the details. Then you have the finger pointing hands, hand that comes with all the different clone trooper figures. You also have the thumb up hand that also comes with all the clone trooper figures. Then you have another hand to give orders, the two finger hand. There's this hand to support the blaster. And then there's the final hand, it's an open hand. I would have appreciated if they had also included closed fist hands. So now let's take a look at the weapons. As usual with Clone Trooper figures you get the Clone Trooper Blaster. It's exactly the same one that you get with Commander Cody, the Chorus and Guard and the 501st Battalion Clone Trooper. It's a nicely detailed weapon and as usual these parts can move. And then you have the two blaster pistols that Rex uses most of the time. It's the same ones that you got with Commander Cody. So it's also nicely detailed and they use the same paint as the Clone Trooper Blaster. So now let's take a look at the other accessories. You get an Ahsoka Clone Trooper helmet. It's exactly the same one that was included with the 501st Battalion Clone Trooper Deluxe version. So if you only got the basic version of the 501st Clone Trooper, you can actually use this helmet for your figure. It will fit just right, it has the peg hole. Rex also comes with two additional accessories for his helmet. The macro binoculars and a torch. It's the first time that Hot Toys include these accessories on Clone Trooper figures. 
I have to say I would have loved it if they had included these two for the deluxe version of the 501st Battalion Clone Trooper. Because if you armor build them and you want to use macro binoculars and some, you have to buy several Rex figures. Because, well, here's the thing, you can actually use these two accessories on the other Clone Trooper figures. How cool is that, right? However, for the macro binoculars, you can only use them on the 501st Clone Trooper and not the Coruscant Guard because there's some blue on it. And I have to say, it will look a bit hard if on the red Clone Trooper there's some blue. Obviously, you can buy a second Rex and paint a macro binocular in red, but that's only if you're into customing your figures. To help you install these two accessories, Hot Toys included this little tool that's very helpful. So now let's take a look at the jetpack. The jetpack is the same as you get with the 501st Clone Trooper figure, except it has been painted in black and that's where the problem is because Captain Rex has a white jetpack just like his other clone troopers. So I don't understand why Hot Toys went with black. It was like that with the promotional pictures and I would have hoped they would fix this issue with the final product. Unfortunately, they didn't. That's disappointing because with the price we pay, and with our toys, we always expect screen accurate figures and accessories. And this time, it's not. Nevertheless, Hot Toys has done a beautiful job with the revering and the battle scratches on this jetpack. When you remove the rocket, you can see some dirt. There are two, and I think it will look great. So you can actually put the effect on it like this, just like for the uh, Five of First Come Trooper. Or you can also put the firing effects at the firsters. Like this. So now let's take a look at the figure. This figure looks great. Hot Toys has never disappointed us with Clone Trooper figures. Each time they make a beautiful work. Rex has some differences compared to the other clones we've got before. He has a camera, holsters for his blaster, a pauldron, an antenna on his helmet, and even his helmet is not your typical phase 2 helmet. So now let's take a closer look at the figure to get all the different details. The kill marks I had mentioned on the hands are also on different parts of this armor. On this arm, on the other, on legs and on the helmet. There's also some visible welds on the helmet here, here and on the chest piece. It really gives a unique look to Captain Rex. Rex actually makes a mix between phase 1 and phase 2 for his final armor and I think it really looks great. You can really see the difference with his helmet because the visor is actually a phase 1 visor. As usual with Clone Trooper figures, Hot Toys has applied a beautiful weathering with some battle damage scratches all over his armor. 
it really looks great. I love what they do with each gun trooper. I'm really impressed with their work. Now, about the pauldron, it's entirely made of plastic and it's not removable. Though you can actually detach this part, it works with magnets. The camera is entirely made of fabric, just like the undersuit of the clone troopers. Rex also looks great with the macro binoculars and the torch. It's actually very easy to install. The macro binoculars can obviously move, as you can see. So now let's talk about the articulation range and then we'll talk about the Captain Rex head sculpt. The antenna on his head can move like this. Because of the pauldron, the articulation range of the head is not the same as the other clone trooper figures. It can move well on the left side, but on the side it is limited. It's the same for the arm. You have limited articulation because of the pauldron. Though, just like the other clone troopers, the armor parts can move, so there's still some pretty good articulation range. The legs can move great. You can also move the different armor parts to have better articulation range. And there's also fit articulation. So now let's see the Captain Rex head sculpt. Just like the Commander Cody head sculpt, the Captain Rex head sculpt is absolutely fantastic. It looks just like Temrera Morrison. I mean, look at this, it's amazing. They have given him blonde short hair, just like he has in the Clone Wars, and in live action, it really looks cool. Hot Toys always make a great work with the head sculpts. I really, really love it. So now let's try some poses. As a fan of the Clone Wars, it's a must buy for me. It has some great accessories and a fantastic Temrera Morrison head sculpt. I definitely recommend getting him. 
Thanks again for watching. I'll be back with more unboxings and reviews very soon. So don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Bye.